Good morning, Pastor Jay, with your Friday devotion, and we are continuing our walk through the book of Galatians. Today, we are going to be in the 13th verse of chapter 5. Paul writes, You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love, for the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. So we are freed from the requirement to keep all the laws of Israel. We don't have to keep dietary laws. We don't have to be circumcised. There's all kinds of other things we don't have to do. But that doesn't mean that we're not supposed to love others the way God wants us to. It's not about keeping all of the laws to make ourselves right with God. It's about doing the right thing because we are right with God. So let's keep going. If you bite and devour each other, watch out that you or you will be destroyed by each other. Verse 16, so I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. Get that? But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity, and debauchery idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, remember, is not necessarily just a place like heaven. It's where God rules. And if you want to be a part of where God rules, you're going to be doing the right thing. Um, I often tell people that our job is to take a little bit of heaven, the kingdom of heaven, the rule of God, out into the world. And we're going to do that by treating people right, by being honest, by being faithful in our relationships, uh, by not deceiving or stealing or being selfish. All those things are going to help people experience the kingdom or rule of God in this life. Now, verse 22, you know this one. But the fruit of the Spirit, okay, this is what we're going to see from somebody who lives in the Spirit, is going to be love, joy, Remember, joy is more than happiness. Joy is a deep-seated uh, sense of contentment. Peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Have you ever thought about that? There's a police officer, a state trooper out there on the road. If you're keeping all the laws, if everything's good to go with your car, you're not going to be stopped. You're never going to have to worry about that person because you are keeping all the laws. And their job is to there to correct those who aren't keeping the laws to keep all of us safe. If you're not going to run red lights, you don't have to worry about being stopped by a police officer for running a red light. And the same thing here. As followers of Christ, we're not going to be doing anything uh, that's going to be uh, offensive to God. At least we're going to be striving not to. And it says, against such things, there, are no, there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. I like that. Keep in step with the Spirit. Pray that God would guide every step you take. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. So even as you keep the law, even as you try to do what's good uh, from your heart, don't let that make you conceited. Don't say, well, you know, I'm so much better than my neighbor. No, no, you're a forgiven sinner. And you are living out of the life that, of Christ that's in you, not necessarily your goodness. Um, and so that's the beauty of our faith. It's powered by God, and the substance of it is obedience to Christ and his presence with us. So let's have a prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to have those fruits of the Spirit. Lord, we want to show that you are truly active in our lives. And we ask that you'd keep us away from things that deny you. Keep us away from things that, that prohibit the kingdom from being a part of our lives and the witness we share. Lord, bless us with your presence, your strength to live for you freely and yet also with goodness. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Remember, we have worship at 9 a.m. That's our traditional service. You can either be here at Christ the King in person or you can worship online. We then have an 1115 uh, more contemporary service called Life Song. We hope you can join us for one of these services. God bless you.